There's a cool new racing game for the Atari Lynx, and this has got some neat features, and it's called 8-Bit Slicks. It has a built-in feature to have online multiplayer as well as local multiplayer with the 8-Bit Hub. I'm gonna show that as well. This is really cool, 20 plus tracks, and you can get this at Songbird Productions. They sent me this game to share with you as you know, I'm a huge Lynx fan and have been a longtime customer of Songbird Productions, showing off their products, Lynx, Jaguar, Evercade, and more. So here it is. Here's the box copy and comes with a manual. And there's more information about this. And I'm going to give you the links below to the websites as this game's being made for uh, several classic computers and there is cross-play online featured as well. So here's a single player option if you just wanna get the game and play it on your Lynx. I am capturing this footage on an Atari Lynx, so it's, it, it, it looks great. So I just wanted to share that here. Got some good music as well. I really like that this has so many different tracks. It also saves your time as you play it. So I really think that's cool if you just wanna play this game by yourself to try to do uh, personal best tracks and I like that you can choose multiple different options for how many laps you want to do and so this is a great kind of throwback to a classic racing game you know definitely has that uh, championship sprint or super sprint uh, feel to it for sure even a throwback to some earlier racing games but this is a welcome addition on the links and there you go, it shows your time and it'll save it to the cart. So that's a nice feature as well. And tons of nice looking tracks and track designs. You are gonna like this if you are a fan of those classic racing games for sure. And this is just the sample of the single player experience. I really think though, if you're gonna get the, the full use of this cart, it's definitely all about the multiplayer, but I'm going to show that in a bit. I just wanted to share some of the tracks and some of the racing on this. Now, uh, the AI can be adjusted, so you can have easy AI or have it very challenging. And so I have it on easy right now, but that can be adjusted as well. I like that you can start the race on your own every time. That's a neat feature as well. And that's also an online feature. So you can choose to start a game by pressing option one, pretty sweet. So there's a lot of strategy to this, you know, having a clean race, not hitting any barriers or obstacles in the road. And there's just a lot of fun to be here to a classic racer such as this. Uh, I did enjoy the single player experience as I'm a big fan of these kind of little classic arcade racing games. And I think there's a lot of fun to be here, but you know, really, really the strength of this for sure is the multiplayer options and that's where the 8-bit hub comes into play and so this is also offered at songbird productions it is expensive it does quite a bit and so i'm going to test it both local multiplayer as well as online it comes with a special connection cable where it hooks into the 8-bit hub and then the uh the jack plugs into the com links part of your atari links and you can have up to uh, three additional local players, but you can go online and play uh, online players as well. So, and it's got cross play, which is nuts. So you can play people with, uh, that's playing the same game on uh, different classic computers using the 8-bit 8 8-bit 8 Slicks website. It has some simple instructions. Uh, you know, I'm sure there's more information about this on the website and I'll put a link below. You do have to register with the website to utilize the online feature. So that, that you, you need to know that ahead of time. It is free, but here it is. This is a cool device. It is uh, for sale at Songbird Productions. It is 150 bucks, it is expensive. And so far it's only set up with this game, but there is cross play. So that's cool. And I can tell you that it works. I'm gonna be showing you how it played. Uh, there are a couple things to note. Uh, I do recommend plugging this using a, a wall plug-in uh, as well as I had better service 
by connecting this to like a cell phone hotspot versus a 5G router. So it is important to note that, that it was very successful using it. I used my uh, cell phone as a hotspot. Here's the connection, and this is the crazy setup I had to a Frame Meister, which then went to my Elgato for capturing footage. So not only did I have hook it up, I had to hook it up to this thing. There is a lot of cables, but it does work. And so you simply follow the instructions and you load in your router information or your, or your hotspot information, then you're good to go. So what I'm gonna show you first is a uh, local, actually a uh, local game. So I'm gonna go to the local option here and using the 8-bit hub and using an Atari 2600 controller or any nine pin, uh, we have only one action button. And so he's gonna play with me a game uh, with some easy CPU opponents and you can choose your map. And I thought that was awesome that you can have up to uh, four players playing locally on an Atari Lynx, or if you have a VGA out option on your modified Atari Lynx, such as myself, we were looking at a TV screen and it works great. And so my son uh, was a little rusty playing these old school racing games, but yeah, it was a lot of fun and pretty cool to choose your own maps. And as you can see, even if you don't want to go online, the 8-bit hub is an awesome thing where you can play this game local multiplayer so i could see tournaments i could see this being used uh in, in several classic settings uh if you're a fan i do believe this is uh, currently available on c64 and apple as well as some other platforms now this is online i went online with songbird productions and voila it worked it worked great again recommend using a cell phone hotspot when using this with the 8-bit hub it, it seemed to work better with uh you know like 2g a 2g network versus 5g now uh it's still being worked upon the online play and stuff but you know it, it was successful here so bear in mind that the online play is is continuing to be worked upon with testers and you know like i said this is uh this is a cool feature this is a new product and something that's just going to get better with time so i want to i want to just throw that out there but it did work it worked great i had a smooth online interaction we played several tracks this definitely uh is kind of a hobbyist device you have to be used to kind of tinker with things but man I really enjoyed playing this, you know, being a big Lynx fan and being able to play a game through my Atari Lynx online. I mean, this is fantastic. I love uh, people that go out of their way to make uh, devices such as this, to make cool things and features that the Lynx never was intended to have. It's just awesome. I just, I'm just absolutely am blown away by how cool it is to play an online game on your Atari Lynx with this device. And, and it works with other classic computers as well. C64, Apple II, as well as some others. There's more information, check it out on the website. But yeah, and it's also got another cool feature I'm gonna show you in a bit that 8-Bit Slicks has uh, developed and offered. And it's just neat. I really enjoy the track design. Definitely it was a throwback to uh, simple racing games of yesteryear i do like all types of racing games i'm a big racing game fan those are the games I, I i like to pick up and play you know a lot of classic arcade racing games and this has that feel to it really nice uh track design as well as just a cool feature i could see friends getting together and in racing it's just fun it's just good old classic fun you know, to me, a game doesn't have to be complicated to be fun. And in fact, uh, the other cool thing it's got, it's got built-in chat. Now, we were using uh, Twitter messaging back and forth, but you can chat with the in, in built-in chat function. And I thought that was awesome as well. So you go to 8-Bit Slicks and check this out. It's got a replay. It's got a replay and it saves games that people use uh, with the device and you can watch your pre your former race. So if you had an awesome race, thought that's awesome. 
So if you're interested in picking this up, go to Songbird Productions where they have Atari Jaguar, Lynx, Evercade, and more. And you can check this out and pre-order it as it's coming out very soon. So check it out at Songbird Productions. Thank you for watching this. This is the Immortal John Hancock, and you have a good day.